Detroit Elementary School will be the site of a pop-up clothing and school supply store this Sunday, all thanks to an organization that's been around and making a difference in the community for over 130 years. Sandra, have you started your back to school shopping yet? I'm not even close. I haven't even made any lists yet. That's to come. All right. Well, I'm here with Sandy Matz from the National Council of Jewish Women. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about this event that's coming up on Sunday. Well, the event is on Sunday, August 11th, and we have 200 children coming to an elementary school in Detroit, and they are going to shop for new clothing and school supplies. And when I say shop, of course, they're not gonna use any money, but they will have a personal shopper taking them around the school, and they're gonna pick out a pair of pants and a shirt and um, socks and underwear. They get a warm coat, they get school supplies, they get a new book. It's truly a wonderful experience for these children. And you've been doing this, and the organization has been doing this for a really, really long time. I mean, we just mentioned 130 years. So this has obviously grown exponentially over the years. It has. We've been doing the back to school store for 10 years. We started out with a couple hundred kids, and then it grew and grew, and then the pandemic came. So we couldn't have volunteers. We couldn't have children coming. So we pivot and we did a modified store where we would pack clothing and school supplies and books for children. We have 19 social service agencies pick up the items and then they would distribute them. Now this year we're doing a hybrid. So we are going to do a combination. This week, this whole week, we are prepping and getting the clothes ready. On Thursday, the social service agencies will come and pick up for their children and then on Sunday, 200 children will get the opportunity to shop. And it's a much different experience when you're able to kind of to do this in person. Oh, don't you absolutely, think absolutely. We're really excited to have children come back into the school and when you see their smiles, it really makes a difference. Some, some children have never had a brand new coat. One child a couple years ago was given a toothbrush and said, I always have to share my brothers. And things that we don't really think about. New socks, new underwear. The basic just, necessities that a lot of us take, you know, absolutely. for granted for we so do. often. Absolutely, we do. And I think and if you don't have a school-aged child, it's really hard to grasp the magnitude that goes into back-to-school shopping. I Correct. mean, there is a lot. And, and you know, when you talk about basic necessities, too, a lot, of, a lot of little ones don't necessarily have access to that. That's right. That's right. And when we see a need from National Council of Jewish Women, we figure out, we go to our community, and we figure out a way to fill that need. We have funders, we have grants, um, we have wonderful supporters, and that's how we do it. And also, I want you to know that everything is brand new. We don't collect used clothing and, and used school supplies and used books. Everything is brand new for these children. Which makes it even more special. So I know that the 200 spots are already predetermined. They are. For this Sunday. But how can folks either help or get involved in some way? Well, if they want to help, they can go to our website, which is ncjwmi.org, and they can volunteer. They can call the office. And if they want their child to participate next year, then they need to go through their social service agency in their community. Well, keep up the good work. You're getting all those little ones off to a great Thank start. Thank you we so much. We appreciate you stopping by. Thank good you luck for on having Sunday. me.